The first time I uh, said to my father, I said, uh, Dad, now that I understand my soul, and I understand the souls of my children, I understand how bad a parent I've been. And you know what he did? He yelled and screamed at me for nearly a half an hour about that. Do you know why? You made him feel bad. Because he'd always felt that I was a good parent. And so what is he now doing? Feeling bad. He's now feeling he's re must have been a really bad parent. Mm. And he didn't want to feel that emotion. Mm. But the truth is that every single emotion inside of your children was created <coughs> primarily by the people around your children, which are mostly parents. you, your parents, the parents. That is the truth. I'm not saying it to judge you. The same happened to you. Exactly the same happened to you. And one of the main reasons why you will shut down your own emotion is because you want to believe your parents were good. And you'll shut down your own emotion because of that. You'll want to shut it down and keep it under control and tell yourself that your parents did a great job, they were doing the best they could and everything else. But it's all just a denial of truth. And if you want to feel emotion, you are going to need to be very focused on being really, really truthful with yourself. Really truthful. You're going to need to come to, what did I say, the second thing on the board yesterday? Can you remember right at the start? Pray for divine truth. What did I mean by that? I said you're going to have to come to have a passionate desire for God's truth, for the way God sees things entering you. Every single emotion that was created in disharmony with God's love, God sees has entered you. And he sees its source. He sees where it came from. And he sees the majority of it came from your parents, whether they knew it or not. And the same applies to your own children. The majority of it came from you, whether you knew it or not. The key now is to not judge that. The key is to do something about that. Right? So while I understand your feeling of like wanting to defend, and I understand that completely, and in the end all we're doing is defending falsehood. And the key is to try to get into the state of always being in truth. <laughs> God never created the cascade of awful parenthood. It came from the first human couple beginning this process of self-reliance. Yes. We talked about that yesterday, remember? Yeah, for those that were here. Everything that within, is in us now came from this process of being self-reliant. And honestly, um, I know the feeling that many of you have is that I'm damning everything. I'm just telling the truth how it is about everything is the way I see it. Now, you don't have to agree with it, and I'm not asking you to. That's why I give my time for free. You don't have to accept anything that I'm saying. All you need to remember, though, is... If you want to connect to God, and this is something that I'm saying as a categoric truth, you are going to have to accept the truth as God sees it. Mm. So have the first couple not done that? They have now. So then... But they've done it in the spirit world. Filter it down? Well, they can't filter it down because it, it, the energies come... Yeah, it, it was already, by the time they'd done it, already nearly 100,000 years had passed. So... By the time they actually the became... Sorry? What was the question? Um, was the first human couple, um, have they cleared away their original emotions that caused all this error? And the answer I've given is yes, they have, but they did it in the spirit world nearly 100,000 years after they were living on earth. And obviously there's been a lot of damage created from, from that mm. original choice. As we clear our emotions in us, are they cleared in our children? And you will see instant changes in your children, particularly if they're very young. But you'll see them even if they're old. However, as their age grows into a place of where they're using their own free will, the effect on them won't be as great as it will be if they're young children. Right? So, mm. so, for example, if a child's three years of age and you begin working through your emotions, what will happen is your child 
will automatically start changing and you'll see those changes. Mm. If your child is 15 and got a fair bit of their own free will mixed in with the process, then it might not be as easy for them to deal with their emotions. Because now it depends a bit on their willingness to feel their own emotions. Yeah. Can I just add to that? Yeah. With my grandchildren, I have um, an eight-year-old and a five-year-old. They see right through me. It's like I'm transparent as glass. Mm -hmm. they, could, they could tell when I was being false and hiding my emotions behind a smile. Mm -hmm. And as I've been processing, um, they can tell when I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. And they just respond with more love, more kisses, more wanting to play, come and walk with me. Yeah. Before I was a lot more needy, wanting their love, so I do things and they could feel it wasn't a connection. Mm. Yeah. But when I do the connection with them now, I mean, I've still got a long way to go, but um, mm. I feel the difference in them. They sense the difference in me and they respond to the difference in me. And it's really awesome. There's just no word to describe it, really. Mm. Mm. They, children are the most sensitive. Mm. But obviously they, are, they have the least amount of damage, right? Mm -hmm. The least amount of soul damage. So they are very sensitive to any change you make. And this includes children, grandchildren even. Mm -hmm. any, any change you make, they are very, very sensitive to.